So far in this Atlantic hurricane season, we've had three hurricanes and one major hurricane. And with the lull since Ernesto, a lot of people are asking, is it still possible in the second half of the hurricane season to get enough storms and hurricanes and majors to get anywhere close to the eight to 13 hurricanes and four to seven majors? Well, as we approach hurricane season halftime, we got to realize that because September, October, November can often be a lot busier than the first half of the season, we've got to be ready and not be caught off guard by thinking that this lull is going to mean that the second half of the season is going to underachieve. We also have to remember that we are still ahead of schedule. Ernesto, the third hurricane was a couple weeks ahead of average, and we don't on average get the fourth hurricane till the middle of September. Still plenty of time to get that ahead of schedule. And we've had the one hurricane that was a major way ahead of schedule. And we don't usually get the second major until mid-September either. There's still plenty of time to get that ahead of schedule. But we've got to realize that in some of these really busy, notorious hurricane seasons of the last decade, We've had similar numbers to what we've had so far this year. Remember, three hurricanes, one major so far this year. Most of these past hurricane seasons that we're all very familiar with had similar numbers or even fewer hurricanes and majors than what we've had so far this year. And look how busy all of these seasons were. And some notorious bad hurricanes in the second half of the season. 2016, we had Matthew in the second half of the season. 2017, Irma and Maria, second half of the season. 2018, had Florence and Michael in September and October. In 2022, we were shut out. No hurricanes at all the first half of the hurricane season. And then we had Fiona and Ian. Even 2020 had similar numbers compared to what we've got so far this year, but 2020 had 10 hurricanes and six majors in the second half. This was the first half of the 2020 season. Look at the second half. We still have, unfortunately, plenty of time to get close to that hyperactive seasonal forecast to verify.